Hey, it's Erin with Snowberry Design Co. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to paint a simple tulip bouquet. I kept it really simple without a lot of details so I could more easily show you how I create depth in a painting without having a lot of distracting details. All of the products I'm using will be linked down in the description box below. I'll also leave a link to my new Amazon store which has all of my favorite products, so be sure to check that out. Since I'm keeping this on the loose side, I'm really just trying to capture the shape and feeling of a tulip rather than painting each individual petal and leaf. I'm starting off to the left and creating this rounded shape that's uneven at the top. This is because tulips are kind of that oval shape when you're looking at them from far away. For the next one, I've kept the same general shape, but this one is running up and down since it's in the front. I'm adding one more to complete that odd number guideline I like to follow when I'm painting flowers. So you'll notice I changed the color just slightly for each of the tulips. I kept that one that would be the closest to me in the arrangement a little bit darker, and the other two are the same color family, but I added a little bit more water to lighten them up. This is a really great and easy way to add depth without having to add in a bunch of details. Now I'm adding in my stems, again changing up the color just slightly with each of them. Now I'm adding in my leaves. I probably could have been done here, but I felt like it was a little too symmetrical for me, so I added one more large leaf back behind this other one. And then I decided that they were a little too close in color, so I'm mixing a darker green to go over the top of this front leaf. I didn't wait for the back leaf to dry, which is why they're bleeding together. I didn't mind how that looked, so I just went with it. Now I'm adding some little yellow dashed lines to look like the tulip stamen.
This still felt a little bit off balance for me, so I decided to add a few more lighter leaves to either side. I've also added another stem. Instead of adding a full tulip, I added this green looking tulip with a color bleed at the top to look like a bud. After I added that, the whole piece felt more balanced to me. I hope you enjoyed this video and this easy trick to get depth in your painting. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. It's totally free to subscribe and you'll be notified when I post a new video. If you try this or any of my other tutorials, please post a picture over on Instagram and tag me at Snowberry Design Co. and use the hashtag Snowberry Tutorial. Tell me in the comments which flowers you'd like to see next. I've been keeping a list of requests that I'll be getting around to, so be sure to come back and see if I've painted your favorite flower. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!